In MuseScore 4.6, we've created a much more powerful and comprehensive system for hiding empty staves. This is a crucial layout feature for scores with multiple instruments. For example, if we look at this system, we can see a few instruments that don't contain any notation or instructions. We refer to these as empty staves. To maximize tidiness and legibility, empty staves should generally be hidden on each system, with the exception of the first system where all instruments are generally shown. To help you specify which empty staves should be hidden on your score, there are two different approaches you can take, the manual approach and the automatic approach. Let's start with the automatic. This can be done by going to the properties panel and enabling the option automatically hide all empty staves. Once enabled, you'll see all the empty staves on your score disappear and you can toggle the feature on and off to compare the before and after. When a system contains hidden staves, a new formatting symbol in the shape of an eye will appear above it. Next, let's look at how you can manually hide empty staves. This process is much more direct and very useful for occasions where you want to override a default behavior. For example, if we look at this system, we can see that the accordion's measures are all empty. To quickly hide these, select both staves and using the properties panel, select hide empty staves. Once done, you'll notice that new formatting mark appearing above the system. Next, if you now click on any measure within the same system and select show empty staves, anything that was previously hidden will now reappear. But there's one more really useful way that you can adjust which staves are hiding on any given system. Simply click on this formatting mark, which will trigger a pop-up containing a list of all the instruments present in that system. By clicking on this eye symbol, you can now hide and show each instrument. And for multi-stave instruments, like the piano, you can show and hide individual staves too. This gives you a high degree of flexibility to quickly fix issues without having to spend time toying with the default behavior settings. It's worth mentioning that when working on a score, it's generally advisable to complete all the notation and performance directions first before moving on to layout changes such as hiding empty staves. Finishing your music first and focusing on how it should be laid out second will generally save you a lot of time. These improvements will together allow you total control over how empty staves are hidden. Not only is it the most flexible and powerful system available, it's also been designed to provide intuitive controls for those who want to quickly make changes without needing to spend too much time fiddling with default settings. And if you want to keep up to date with new releases whenever they come out, please subscribe to this channel.